We begin today with breaking news. The owner and general manager of the Denver Broncos speaking to the media for the first time since firing head coach Nathaniel Hackett yesterday. Owner and CEO Greg Penner apologizing to Broncos country. The GM saying he takes full responsibility. And now the focus turns to finding a new head coach. Denver 7 Broncos insider Troy Rank joins us live now. Troy, that news conference just wrapped up. What did you take away? Yeah, Jason, it was fascinating in the rawness and the candor revealed following the firing of coach Nathaniel Hackett. I know from my sources, Jason, the plan was not to fire him during the season. They were going to give him the final two games and move on. So what happened? That picture was painted clearly by Greg Penner and Peyton today that coach Nathaniel Hackett put on that embarrassing performance on Sunday. And it wasn't just what was happening on the field. They were thrashed by the Rams, but you saw Randy Gregory throw a punch after the game, get suspended ultimately. Dalton Reisner and Brett Rip and getting into it. That's the second time they've had a sideline confrontation between teammates. And I was told Greg Penner in the booth at SoFi Stadium, he was expressing his frustration in real time in a way some hadn't seen. So where do they go from here? Quickly, they did not mention candidates, but here are some of the candidates to keep an eye on as the Broncos search for their fifth head coach since Super Bowl 50. And that would be Dan Quinn, the defensive coordinator from the Cowboys. He was a finalist last time around when Hackett was fired. You've got the big fish, Sean Payton, who would require draft pick compensation to get taken from the Saints. You have Jim Harbaugh from Michigan, Leslie Frazier, who's the defensive coordinator with the Bills. David Shaw, a college name from Stanford. Condoleezza Rice will be part of the search committee. She knows David Shaw well and Frank Reich from the Colts. But today, Jason, out here at the Broncos Auditorium, it was about a mea culpa from Greg Penner and George Payton about this disastrous season. I want to personally apologize to our fans and all of Broncos country. We know that we need to be better, and we will. The Denver Broncos are a proud franchise with a rich history and a winning tradition. As owners, it's incumbent on us to have high expectations, set a high standard, and ensure there is accountability. We talked about that at the beginning of the season. It was true then, and it's true now. It just didn't work out here, and, uh, and that's on me. Uh, and as I told the players yesterday, I take full responsibility for where we are as a football team. I brought in the head coach. I brought in most of the players. Those are my decisions, and there's no one to blame but me. And I just want to be clear. This isn't just about the coaching. This isn't just about Nathaniel. This isn't about the entire football operation. This is about the personnel, the players, the staff, everyone involved with our football team. Listening to George Payton today, frankly, I'm a little surprised he kept his job, but he did that by basically admitting his faults to Penner, specifically in hiring Nathaniel Hackett, and they need to fix Russell Wilson. But I followed up with Greg Penner, like, what do you see as the timeline for turning this around? Because this is now seven years of no playoffs for the Broncos, and Penner revealed himself today as an impatient man. This season has been more difficult than we than we expected. Uh, again, it's not not the season we were uh, hoping for, expecting for, or, or feel that our fans deserve. Uh, you know, I'm a big believer that if if you've got if you start with the right culture, people, and you have the resources and expectations, uh, we can we can build a win a winning football team here again. And I don't think that takes a number of years. I, our focus should be on. Uh, turning this around so that we're ready to go this coming season with the right pieces in place. And Penner clearly in charge. The next head coach will report directly to him. He will lead the search for the next coach, Jason. And they were asked, and I think we will follow up on this, they said they believe in Russell Wilson because if Russell Wilson doesn't rebound, I'm not sure it matters, Jason, who the next coach is. Yeah, Troy, we have to dive in more on that because one of my biggest takeaways was when they started talking about the quarterback. George Payton said they didn't make this coaching move because of Russ. They won't bring in a new coach specifically for Russ, and they believe he is, quote, fixable. Plenty to unpack there, including the wording, Troy. 
Yeah, I mean, they're stuck with him for this year. You cannot cut Russell Wilson. People ask me that all the time. You would absorb essentially an $80 million cap hit next season. The cap's going to be around $220 million. So a third of your cap would be going to pay a player not to play for you. You heard Penner. He's not looking to rebuild that way. That's what that would be. So how do you fix Russell Wilson? He's got to play better. I think you're going to see him get in better shape. He cannot invent himself again as Drew Brees and Tom Brady. They need Russell Wilson to be mobile. The problem is he revealed himself as a declining player this year, and that's the danger. You can certainly see that a new coordinator and a new head coach could help Wilson with a better system. But is he a declining player? Can he get it back? And the next coach is going to put up guardrails. It's got to be more about us, less about Russ. He cannot be 52 guys and Russell Wilson on an island anymore. He's not that player, and it was a complete disaster to try to do it that way this year. And they also mentioned a new coach that they want to bring in a sense of accountability, discipline, and identity on offense, Troy. Should be an interesting couple of weeks and months ahead. Our Broncos insider, Troy Rank, reporting for us from the UC Health Training Center. And, of course, we'll have a full recap of today's news conference with quotes from both Penner and Peyton up on our website, Denver7.com. More reaction and fallout all afternoon here on Denver 7.